What if we told you there's a compact car out there that's affordable, packed with features, and has a fresh redesign? Intrigued? You should be. Welcome to the world of the 2025 Subaru Impreza. This hatchback isn't just another car on the lot. It's a blend of practicality, tech-savvy features, and Subaru's signature all-wheel drive. If you've been eyeing a new ride, this one should be on your radar. Stick around as we dive into what makes the 2025 Impreza stand out. But before we get into the details, make sure to subscribe to our channel now for more exciting reviews and car tips. The 2025 Subaru Impreza is a compact hatchback known for its affordability. It has recently been redesigned and boasts updated styling inside and out, new tech, and more standard features. Subaru dropped the sedan from the lineup, leaving only the hatchback. While some might miss the sedan, we've always thought the hatchback's increased utility make it a better choice. With the extensive changes last year, major updates for 2025 aren't expected. The latest Impreza doesn't look drastically different from its predecessors, but it's packed with notable upgrades. The 11.6-inch touchscreen with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is a standout feature. The chassis is stiffer, enhancing handling, and driver aids like adaptive cruise control have been improved. The sporty RS trim offers a beefier engine for those craving more power, addressing the base Impreza's sluggish acceleration. And as with almost all Subarus, all-wheel drive comes standard. Hatchbacks are few and far between these days, but the ones left are tough rivals for the Impreza. The Honda Civic hatchback, revamped just a few years ago, shines in nearly every way. Comfort, tech, utility, you name it. It lacks all-wheel drive, giving the Impreza a slight edge there. But don't overlook the Mazda 3, Mini Cooper, and Toyota Corolla. They're all strong contenders. If you love the Impreza but crave more capability or flair, check out the Subaru Crosstrek. It's essentially an Impreza with extra ground clearance. Our vehicle testing team evaluates new cars weekly, blending track tests with real-world driving on city streets, highways, and winding roads. They use over 30 scores to rate every part of the car experience. So, how does the Impreza handle it? We got our hands on the new Impreza RS trim, which boasts a beefier engine. But our test car's 0 to 60 miles per hour time was a lackluster 8.4 seconds. This lags behind the Honda Civic and Mazda 3 hatchbacks. Other Impreza trims expect even lower speeds. Plus, the continuously variable transmission, or CVT, can be sluggish when you need a quick burst of speed making highway merging or passing a bit of a chore. Braking and handling also fall short of the top contenders. On twisty roads, the Impreza changes direction without too much body roll, and the steering is light and elegant, making parking a breeze. Still, you might want to look elsewhere if you're after a hatchback with a sporty feel. How comfy is the Impreza? The Impreza hatch stands out as one of the coziest in its class. The front seats are plush, offering good support, while the rear bench, though a bit flat, remains comfortable. Our test RS trim came with heated front seats, which work like a charm and can even be set to turn on automatically when you start the car. The ride quality is smooth, it easily handles bumps, and the car stays quiet most of the time, although the engine can be pretty loud at full throttle. Every Impreza hatchback includes dual-zone automatic climate control, which is awesome, but we noticed it tends to run a bit warm. But AC is still super cold, though. Sadly, there are no vents for rear passengers, which is a bit of a letdown. How's the interior? The Impreza hatchback boasts one of the roomiest interiors in its class, with generous headroom and legroom, especially in the rear. Taller passengers won't feel cramped. There's plenty of space up front, and finding a comfy driving position is a breeze. Getting in and out is simple, thanks to the short but wide opening doors. The low hood and tall windows enhance visibility, which we appreciate. Our test model featured an 11.6-inch vertically mounted infotainment screen. It controls everything from navigation to climate settings. 
The resolution isn't the best and can wash out if you wear polarized sunglasses, but it's large and responsive. Plus, it offers ample space for the rear view camera display. How's the tech in the Impreza hatchback? You've got two choices. Dual 7-inch displays in the base model or a snazzy 11.6-inch screen in the Sport and RS trims. The dual screens feel a bit cheap, so go for the big display. While the resolution on the 11.6-inch screen isn't super sharp, the navigation and maps are user-friendly. The large screen offers ample space for maps, music, podcasts, and even more. Do you prefer using your smartphone? Subaru's got you covered with standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, both with wireless connectivity. Depending on the trim, you get USB-A and USB-C ports, an auxiliary jack, and a wireless charging pad. The Impreza hatch comes with a solid suite of driver aids, many of which are standard. This includes adaptive cruise control, one of the better systems in the compact segment, maintaining good gaps and adjusting speed smoothly. The lane centering system could use some refinement, but it's easy to turn off if needed. How's the storage? The Impreza hatchback offers 20.4 cubic feet of cargo space with the seats up, expanding to 56 cubic feet with them down. While it's not as spacious as the Honda Civic hatchback, it beats out Mazda and Mini rivals. The 4060 split folding seats don't lie completely flat, but there's still ample room, plus extra storage under the hatch floor. The center armrest is limited on storage, but the door pockets and console have enough space for essentials, like your phone or sunglasses. We love the water bottle holders, perfect for tailgating. The rear is roomy enough for child safety seats with hidden anchors, yet easy to access. And those wide opening doors, they make buckling in a breeze. How's the fuel economy? The Subaru Impreza, equipped with its base engine, delivers an EPA-estimated 30 miles per gallon in combined city and highway driving. Our test vehicle, the RS with its upgraded engine, only saw a minor dip to 29 miles per gallon combined. This is slightly less efficient than the Honda Civic and most versions of the Mazda 3. On our mixed mileage test route, we recorded 28.4 miles per gallon, a bit lower than anticipated, especially given the highway driving we did. Is the Impreza a good value? Absolutely. The Impreza hatchback stands out as one of the more affordable options in its class, with a lower base price than many competitors. Despite the lower price, Subaru doesn't skimp on features. You get standard all-wheel drive, a solid list of driver aids, and plenty of tech. Plus, the options won't drive the price up as much as they do with Honda or Mazda. However, the Impreza does lack some of the polish found in its rivals. The interior feels cheaper, with more hard plastics and less refined design. Subaru's warranties are pretty average for the class, offering decent coverage, but nothing extraordinary. Subarus have never been known for their flashiness, and the Impreza sticks to that theme. The latest model looks fresh, but stays within previous designs. Compared to other small hatchbacks, it lacks a premium vibe. The understated styling might be forgivable if the Impreza were more fun to drive. However, even the RS trim needs to improve handling and driver engagement. The steering feels numb and the powertrain lacks humph. The exhaust note is so harsh that you won't want to push the engine too hard. Subaru hasn't released the official details for the 2025 Impreza yet, but based on last year's model, we suggest going for the RS trim. Sure, it's the priciest option, but it packs a more powerful engine, which is a big plus. You also get extra features like heated front seats, adding comfort. Plus, it has a sportier look. The Subaru Impreza hatchback has three trims, base, sport, and RS. The base and sport have a 2-liter 4-cylinder engine with 152 horsepower and a 145 pound-per-feet of torque. Conversely, the RS boasts a 2.5-liter 4-cylinder engine, delivering 182 horsepower and 178 pounds-per-feet of torque. Both engines use Continuous Variable Transmission, or CVT, and send power to Subaru's standard all-wheel drive system. So, what do you think about the 2025 Subaru Impreza? Is it worth the hype or just another hatchback? Let us know in the comments down below.
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth car reviews and updates. Thank you for watching.